So this week, me and wife are bird watching. I'm going to share a few tips with you. And I'm going to touch on camouflage. So don't forget to subscribe, please. And tick that bell for notifications. Oh, yes. What a beauty. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Wife's gone off on, uh, gone off with camera, the other camera. So I'm doing a little video today. The bird, the baby green woodpecker, the fledgling, and we've seen it, and she's got some pictures of it. So that's it. Morale boosted. She's actually gone looking for it, and I'm going to let her. I don't want to. I'm not going to mind her. That's what I mean by letting her. So she's got the camouflage jacket on, so she just blends in a little bit more. She doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. And this was a part of this video today. I was going to talk about camouflage or even just the, the appropriate um, clothing that you'd wear. So what I've done today is I've got my green pants on, some sensible dark shoes, and I've got a green t-shirt. And I was going to show you the jacket, which I will do later. But wife has got it on at the moment now. So it's quite good fun this at the moment today. And open, we've already got some pictures of the fledgling from the distance. So she's going to see if she can improve on it. And it, that, we got that just by listening. It wasn't the normal yaffle you'll get off a green woodpecker. It was a portion of it, similar, and it did actually sound a little bit like a jackdaw. door. Um, and I kept going, it's not right. It's, I'm sure that could be a fledgling call. That's what was going through my head. And I was right. So I'm quite chuffed with that. So I'm going to carry on with the video. I'm going to show you some. Um, I'm going to show you the difference to what you can wear and what you shouldn't wear, and how you stand out. So I'll go and get this other jacket now. Right, so I'm walking over here now. I've got back to the chain. Then it's. Well, I'm going to sit down a little bit. And I know my white arms, and I know you can't hear me very well. My white arms are showing a little bit, but. Look at the clothing I'm wearing. I don't stick out like a sore thumb, do I? We can do something about the arms, and we can even do something about the face. But this is what I'm on about. I'm gonna give you another example. <laughs> Emergency. Emergency waterproof. Well, showerproof. Can you see me any better? So can the wildlife. Everything's blown off. So if you don't want to be seen, think about what you're wearing. Set this off now. Nice. I'm on about again. So I'm going to try and find it today. I'm going to do a little bit of filming in between, so hopefully you'll enjoy this little bit of the video. And I'll just talk about different things. Missed it a minute ago. I'm sure I saw it landing that tree, but. I put my binoculars down on the floor and that's another good lesson for you. If you've got some, these were a tenner off a well-known site and they were second hand. Not hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Obviously if you pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds you get really good quality ones. But I don't mind these, they're um, 8 by 40s and the 40, the 40 means that size. So obviously the bigger that size the better and 8 means magnification. So I, and then obviously the bigger them are, the more light lets in. It's just that little bit clearer, that's what I prefer. 8 by 40s 10 by 50s 10 by 50s a bit heavier, obviously. Keep saying obvious, don't I? Use these, they're good for spotting. I mean, they're 8 times magnification. The 600 mil is not much more than that, really. So, when you look through these... Hang on a minute. I don't know what that was, but life will kill me if I don't look.
hand that at. The hand that at, yeah. right at the bottom. So you've got like this tree right in front of me that goes up to the left? Not that one, forget yeah. that. The, this the, the, one? No, yeah. forget that one, go to the right there. You're pointing right at him now. So another top tip for you, get your wife or your partner and get them into doing what you want to do. They can be your model, they can feed you, look model in this camouflage jacket, they can feed you, but there is one small snag and that says they can run off with the wildlife equipment, photographically, technical stuff, camera. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, <laughs> I said it wrong, didn't I? Yeah. That's my top tip. That's top tip number four. No, it's number one. I can't remember what it is. Anyway. Okay. Make sure you press the card. Make sure you press the card. Take forty two. What? What? Take yeah, forty two. We can't put this on that we're doing now. What are you going to do, Julie? Mine, go for a womble in that field over there. Mm -hmm. We've got to be feeding. Come on, I'm red marks on you. Well, I'm creeping all sorts. I've been laid down today. I've spent mm -hmm. too, far too much time here. Mm -hmm. um, might go for in that field because we've got to be feeding somewhere, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Might go have Pembroke from there. Yeah. Right. Don't whistle for me. That's what, yeah, because I'll put you on. All right, okay. Because when I'm hearing whistles, I'm thinking it's birds, not you. Sorry, I've just seen some up flying across. Okay. So if I go in that field in a minute, you're watching that hole. Yeah. You're watching these trees. Mm -hmm. If you hear or see anything, we need to get on the phone, even just ring it once, I don't have to answer. That can be tip number three, can't it, if you see something. Use your phone. Phone the person who's, phone got, the person the, who's got the camera. Phone the person who's got yeah, the camera. Go. Tip number three. Phone the person who's got the camera where if the bird is that you. they're looking for. Or the animal. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Go on. Who's, um, who's the photographer? You. Just, just remind me. You. Uh -huh. In. You go in, love. Now she goes. Disappearing, so she disappeared. Right, okay. But here it, I'll text you, yeah. Seeing how she's blending in, don't we? 15 metres away. Check it off. I'm not going to see a woodpecker apparently, wife, he says, but I've got this on. Okay. Have I proved my point? Put your phone on silent.
because she's got a picture of the baby wolf I saw it, me. and I was the first to get the picture, so therefore, it counts. Right. Well, cheers for that, love. Well, I'm just, I'm just pointing out what they say on that film. Yeah, you, you keep pointing out the lot, so... Oh, I'm just saying I got the first shot of a green woodpecker chick. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I got the only shot. You didn't get any. No, because because you robbed the camera. So. Right. Okay. Uh huh. So I'm quite happy. Yeah. Come yeah, on. I've then. got the the first and only pictures of the green woodpecker oh. chick oh. ever. You haven't got any at all, have you? No, I haven't. Got None any. at all. No. I have. Have you loved it? And so far, I've also got the best green woodpecker picture as well. Yeah, yeah you have, love. Can I go now? Yeah, I think I'm done. You can't improve on perfection, I'm sorry. You can have your camera back now. Mm -hmm. Just for now. Just for now. Thank you. We're getting that new lens for you. Well, so you can have your camera back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could have took it. I'm not bothered. Well, I am bothered because I got the first picture, so I am bothered. Alright, can we go on oh. now? Yeah, we best pack up now, won't we? Got Jim and that. <laughs>